Hey guys, it's Tara, and today I'm going to be showing you how to permanently curl your doll's hair. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is take your doll's hair out of any hairstyle, obviously. So she was in a bun, but now you're going to brush it out. And personally, I like to use a spray bottle with water when I'm brushing my doll's hair out. I just think it makes it a little bit easier, but you don't have to do that. And then you're just going to brush it out to make sure that there's no snarls or knots, just to make sure that the curlers go in easily. Once that's done, you can get these curlers at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I got two packs of them, so I have enough for pretty much any doll. And you're just going to do different sections of curls, and how curly you want the doll's hair to be depends on how many curlers you use. So for Kanani, I just kind of wanted to restore her like natural wave that she has when she comes, but I had straightened her hair before. So I ended up doing about eight curlers, and I liked the result. Now what we're going to do is fill up a glass cup of any kind and you're going to heat it up for a minute and 30 seconds, more or less is fine too. Um, you just want it to be near boiling. Once that is done, you are going to take your doll and dunk all of the curlers into the measuring cup. In my case, I'm using a measuring cup. And you just want to make sure that all of the sections of hair that are in the curlers are saturated so that you get the fullest curl possible. Then I left her in there for about 3 minutes and then I'm taking her out and letting her hair dry. You can leave her in there for up to probably 5 minutes but you don't want to leave her in there for too long because the hair can start to melt. So now I'm just kind of pressing the water out of all the curlers but be very careful because the water will be hot and make sure you get parents permission if you're younger before doing this. Once her hair is dry, you can take it out of the curlers. In my case, her hair was still a little bit damp, so actually after, off camera, I let her lay out in the sun for a little while. Just her hair, I covered her face and body with a towel though. So make sure you're safe whenever you're doing this. And I love the way the curls turned out, and I think they worked really well. So here's how they turned out in the end. This is when they were still a little bit damp, but the next clip will be after I let them dry a little bit longer. And here is the final result. I would recommend letting them dry overnight, but if you are impatient, then you can always lay her out in the sun for a little while, but just be patient and the results are great. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!